You gotta move faster. Talk less. I haven't been talking. Mm-hmm. Girl, you talk all the time. Look, Tyshawn went to me. There's a lot of things keeping students in the hallways, you know. It's not only people ignoring classes, it's multiple reasons. Maybe uh, emergencies to the bathroom, maybe something happened, family phone calls in the hallway. Anything's possible. I mean, like, you'll have people come to the door and then knock, and then there's, like, arguments between teachers and students okay. back and forth. And they were doing a hall sweep, and I locked the door, and there was, like, about eight of them. And, like, the kids found it actually more humorous. The kids that would be kind of turning the corner when the bell rang are now, like, running to class. So it has definitely made an impact on the attendance in my class. The oh, boys, aren't you looking all professional? <laughs> Some students in the hallway, they fool around and not get to class on time. So they think it's like a game. The students get outraged and they tend to bang on the door and that causes the teacher to get off topic and the students to get off topic. I had lunch and so I was out of school. Of course it's going to take me some time, but I guess it's my fault because I didn't ask him for a minute extra. Three now. That's three. I don't know how you got three. I only scanned you once. How I got six Not six. You said, I said three. Some of the kids think that once they get the hall pass, they could still take their time getting to class. You have your numbers? I mean, it works when kids are getting to class on time, but then the kids who are late, it's actually causing them to lose more class time instead of just letting them in and marking them tardy. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what the solution is for that, but that's definitely a drawback.